Hey everyone, Caruso here with another Minecraft tutorial looking at my version of Etho's uh, activating and deactivating nether portal. Now for those of you who watch Etho's videos you may notice that my room here is one block wider on each, each side. Uh, I have a third button that he did not have and there is uh, obsidian for the backdrop instead of glowstone. But uh, for those of you who haven't, the way this works is there are some fire charges in here. There is water in this dispenser here. And when you hit this button here, it will activate the uh, fire charge and activate the portal. And then this button will give a quick burst of water, deactivating the portal. Now the uh, nice thing about this one is you can hit this uh, um, block of uh, redstone ore. And it will activate the portal and you can go through and then it will not deactivate until uh, you pass back through as it requires a block update and that won't happen in the overworld and uh, I have stood in the nether for over half an hour and then returned back through and it did still work so um, this uh, idea does work and then once it start, stops glowing it will shut down now this third button is uh, to reverse the bud toggle switch in the back so you can see this is still glowing, but I was able to shut it off. And if I hit it again, it'll reactivate. And this can be useful if you, for instance, have a issue with the fire charge you ran out. And then this is glowing, but you want to be able to trigger the nether portal again. You can reload it and hit this button twice. As uh, when this is active, you can't fire more charges. So um, that's beneficial as well as if there's an issue with a... Uh, when you log in and uh, um, it, this is reversed, for instance, like if I hit this, right? If it's like this and you hit this and it deactivates, oops, that's the problem with being in creative, it deactivates there, then um, you can just reverse it and the whole system is back in sync. So to do this, I'm going. you're going to need a... Uh, um, 9 by 5 area um, around your nether portal which will be offset by 2 on the left side and 3 on the right and there will be these two holes in the back and this is just a basic uh, representation of what will be uh, built around this and this blue circuit, uh, light blue circuit here is for the uh, toggle switch uh, reverser and this circuit here is completely optional so if you don't want to put it in you don't have to so let's get into building this alright so to build this like I said before you're going to need a 9 by 5 area and your nether portal will go 2 from the left and 1 in and you can build the economy version and you don't need to do the full nether portal it's just easier and creative since resources aren't an issue to build the full one and the first circuit we're going to build is the uh, toggle bud this yellow one as well as this is the activation for the uh, fire charge so that will be part of the circuit as well and to do this you're going to place a sticky piston right here with a piece of redstone ore right next to that and then you're going to take the uh, your building material I'm going to use the colored wool like in this other one just for the ease of the tutorial so you want to place a block here with a redstone torch below that three blocks along here three blocks along here, knock out this block right next to the piston, three blocks like this, knock out the center one, place one block here, and then put a dispenser here, and now you can knock this one back out, and you can put your fire charge in here. So next thing you want to do is put a button on the front, a piece of redstone on top of this dispenser, and to do that, click the wall behind it, put a repeater here, with three uh, pieces of redstone here and one on the top and then this way as the uh, block gets updated here you can see it works so the next circuit we're going to build will be for the water uh, dispenser here and it'll be this white one so to do that I'm just going to break this here uh, put a dispenser right next to the block here and put a bucket of water in there uh, I'm going to do that a little later as uh, it can be a little temperamental with the circuitry when building sometimes it'll misfire so we'll do five pieces of redstone or uh, wool like this with another one on here to get this little step pattern put a repeater on three ticks here 
redstone here, 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 and here, and then that's it. Uh, the next one will be this orange one, and this is the monostable circuit for the dispenser coming off the toggle bed. And to do that, you want uh, this um, redstone torch here, piece of redstone dust in this hole, repeater on four ticks, redstone torch, block, and then another redstone torch. And that's all there is to that. And then the next circuit is for the manual deactivation of the water. And that will be the lime green circuit right here. So to do that, place a block here, put a button on the front, redstone torch on the back, block here, here, and here. Place a piece of redstone dust here, repeater on four ticks, and then a redstone torch and a redstone torch. And that's all there is for that. The final circuit is the light blue one here. And this is for the uh, toggle bud uh, inverter. And this is optional, like I said before. So if you want to stop the build here, and just make sure you put your water bucket in, you can do so. Or you can build this next circuit. So to do, uh, do that, we're going to place a block here, whoops, block here with the button on the front. Uh, redstone torch, two blocks like so, one here and one here. Place your redstone dust here, one here, one here. Uh, redstone torch, not there, right here. Place a block on top of this redstone torch, one right here, another block on top of that. Next thing you want to do is take a sticky piston and put it right here with a block right below it and uh, oh I forgot the repeater so make sure you put a repeater here on three ticks of delay so it's the only mono stable circuit that will do a one tick and then you want to place four blocks like so and then one right next to the piston and place three blocks like so and now I'm going to put my water bucket in and now when I hit this it should cause the whole system to update so now it's in the correct uh, order. That should activate, deactivate. This should activate the fire charge. This should activate the water. And this should activate the redstone if I put a block here. So yes, this whole system is working. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope uh, this was helpful. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.